What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be changing up the pace a little bit. We're going to be taking you guys on a road trip to Irvine, California. Now the reason why we're heading up to Irvine, California guys is Detailing.com is hosting their 10th annual Car Care Expo up there. We're going to be doing a bunch of really cool stuff such as live demonstrations. You're supposed to have a little, a little car show going on up there. Some special guests such as Jason Rose from Roops, Mike Stoops from McGuire's, as well as Rennie Dole from PNS. I think they're having some other guests as well. A lot of really cool stuff they have going on up there. Um, but anyways, guys, without further ado, we're going to get going and I'll see you guys up there. All right, guys, we have just arrived here to the detailing.com expo. We're gonna run around here, see what they got going on around the corner. Alright guys, I am joined here by Nick, previously with Nick of Auto Geek. Nick, you're over here with the keys now. Tell me a little bit about what you guys got going on. You said your first time here at the Detailing.com's 10th Annual uh, Car Expo. What do we got going on here? What do you have set up? Well, we're excited to be here. Uh, the story with McKee's 37 is Bob McKee created Auto Geek, and with that he created brands like Pinnacle and Wolfgang and Marine 31 and Blackfire. Well, three years ago, he sold that brand, he kept McKee's 37, and here we are, our standalone company. We took all his years of, of knowledge with developing premium formulas and introduced outstanding products at a, a lower price without sacrificing any kind of quality or ease of use. So, Detailing.com just picked up the line. This is their 10th anniversary event. It's a privilege to be here. They've got our line on display. Chris Jacobs is going to be here at 11 o'clock. Uh, he's going to be signing autographs, answering questions. I'm buffing out the Buick Encore rental car. That was really good. And otherwise, we're just having fun. You know? Awesome. And now, from my understanding, here, Detailing.com is actually going to be carrying your guys' line now. This is like new, right? Yeah, yeah. They just picked it up uh, last month, so they have the majority of the line. Detailing.com is in Irvine, California. They're on the West Coast. So if you live in California or Washington or, or Nevada or really anywhere, they got really fast shipping, great prices, and fantastic customer service. Uh, awesome, awesome. I really appreciate you jumping on camera here with me, Nick. Um, thank you again for telling me more about the products. I actually buy McKee's products. They're great products. I really enjoy them, but I'm going to let Nick get back to it here. He's got a lot of people. He's got a whole line right here going on. All right, guys, we are over here at the Grias Garage booth. I am here with Miranda. She is showing off this awesome new Grias Garage machine. Tell us a little bit about it, Miranda. So this is our new uh, Grias Garage G9. Uh, we just released it recently. Um, some upgrades to our previous machine. It now has a trigger handle here, your speed settings on both left and right. Um, we got a new platypus handle here for better grip. Also new rubber down here, so you can hold it here as well. Um, we adjusted the backing plate too, so it's rubber here, so it's got some more flexibility. Um, we also really like this feature. This pops off for storage, so that way you don't have to worry about your car, your cord bending. Pretty awesome. Um, so you can lock the speed here. Just a whole new body design. Also has a nine millimeter throw instead of an eight. So a couple nice. upgrades there. Yeah, nice. so it's really awesome. Uh, we kept it at the same price for you guys too, so. So what was the price on this now? $149.99. One four, that's a smoking deal for yeah. this machine. Yeah, it is. It's a really good deal, so. Pretty cool, and you can convert it to a five inch as well. So, so you can run a five inch and six inch yep, backing plates yep. on here. So you got some options there, and it's ventilated, so you're not going to create a lot of heat. Yeah, we got the um, little ventilation right yep, here, you can see. Exactly, so you're not, it's going to be hard to burn through your paint with it, so it's yeah. safe. We keep it safe, That's easy, right. fun to use, so yeah! Awesome, awesome. well thank you so much for you're jumping welcome. on camera and showing us the new machine. Absolutely! All 
right, guys, we're over here at the Sonax booth right now. I'm joined here by Rob. Rob is going to tell us a little bit about what they got going on here today. So, Rob, we got a beautiful R8 right here. We do. Yep. What, are, what are we got going on here today? We're just going to do a, a little bit about some new products that we have. Uh, the old tried and true, but it's a new formula. So we've got a new new package, uh, new formula of okay. our Wheel Cleaner Plus, one of our best-selling products. So it uh, it's a new formula. It's roughly 20% stronger, works quicker. Uh, for an acid-free, it works just like an acid. So a really awesome. good product. Uh, what we're showing on the R8 today is uh, basically our, our Active Foam Energy, which is a uh, foam cannon or a foam gun type product that foams great, clings really well. Uh, cleans really really well uh, on paint so and okay. then we come back just uh, with spray and seal and you can do it in the in the wash cycle so you wash your car just like you normally would do it and okay. uh, you just spritz this over the entire car and it protects everything on the outside so of is the this car. kind of like a drying aid with like some protection in it or, or, or what is three it exactly protection yeah so it, it three dries, months it protection helps, it helps dry and and uh, also adds protection for the car as well too beads water like crazy uh, glass plastic trim everything on the exterior of the paint. Awesome, so, awesome. So when are you guys going to be doing the demonstration here on the beautiful R8? We're getting ready to crank one up right here. So we're Okay, uh, well I will be back in just a few minutes then uh, to watch the demonstration. Awesome. So Certainly thanks for your time. It. Yeah, thank you. All right, guys, I'm joined here by Jose. Jose, actually, this is kind of funny. He actually bought some detailing supplies off me like a while back. That's right. Uh, he ran here to me at the show saying what's up. So Jose, we got a lot of really cool stuff going on here at the show. A lot today. of cool what, stuff, yes. What do you think so far? I mean, this is pretty crazy. You know what? I think it's great. We got some classes going on. We just uh, entered one from uh, McGuire's. I believe IGO is going to be hosting <laughs> yeah. one. Yep. Um, you know, it's just great to be out here and network with other professional detailers. Yeah. Um, you know, so I'm loving it. So far, so good. Yeah. Cool. Awesome, man. Well, it was, it was good uh, having you come out here and For see sure. you again. And we'll definitely have to connect it oh, some oh, more. Definitely. But um, we're going to get back to checking out some more of the show, guys. Not finished, really. See? How long does it last? Yeah. The national average is six to eight months. Eight months in California in the sun and washing it. Yeah. And if you do a little maintenance, you'll get a year out of it. All right, guys, I am joined here by Claudius, OG detailer. He is like the king of detailing, guys. If you guys do not know who he is, get on the bandwagon. Come on now. <laughs> Anyways, what do we got going on here, man? We got a lot of cool stuff. Oh today. man, we have some awesome stuff going down here at detailing.com. This is like the local watering hole for the Southern California detailers. Yo. And man, we have everybody here. We've got Arrow, we got McGuire's, we got McGee's, we got, we got demonstrations uh, going man, on. Man, demonstrations all over the place. We got cool cars. cars. Look at that. We got a center just chilling. Man, right come there. on, man. What? So it's like <laughs> this is this is the place to be. And, uh, you know, SoCal boys, man, I, you know, that's, that's the SoCal right. boys, man, with the local guys down here. Um, Detailing.com has been just awesome for the detailing world and the detailing guys, man, in Southern California. So that's you guys right. got to get down here, man. It's uh, we're still going to be out here. The 10th annual one, be, right? 10th, 10th annual. 10th annual, 10th annual, man. They've been they've been on the grind, man, and bringing yep. bringing all those wonderful products that we get to use and, and do with. So that's right. That's what's up. And we're also out here networking with other new detailers. I've actually had a couple of detailers come up to me that know me just from like YouTube, which is kind of crazy. And my channel's not even that crazy big, but it's really cool to, to see you out here. I followed you for years on YouTube, yeah. or not Thank YouTube, you. but on Facebook, seeing yes, all the sir. cool cars you worked on. Yes, sir. So, but anyways, guys, we're going to continue on, check out some more cool stuff here at the show. All right, guys, we're over here at the Rupes booth now. This is like towards the end of the day. Paul right here is graciously hey guys. on life support pretty much right now. <laughs> he is dead from just all the people. You can see it's a total mess right now. But Paul, give us a run through just some of the quick uh, basically, uh, polishers we have here. What's sure. going on with it? And uh, Well, it's been it. such an amazing event that what I'm going to show you is a mess right now. <laughs> it's been picked apart, picked through. Everybody's been testing and having a lot of time. But I'll go, let's walk through. Just real so, quick. Yeah, real quick. So what we have here are Mark III tools. 
Uh, 21. 21, a 15. Uh, then we move down here into our three inch minis. Wonder, wonderful, wonderful uh, edging tool. Then we come into our nanos. We're showing off both the short and the long neck. The we same power plant and everything with both of these? It's just a longer I neck? One has a longer neck, absolutely. Okay, I have the longer neck one and I love it. Great little tool to yeah. have. You know, typically long neck, you might end up doing two hands, <clears> but the short neck, you might just do one. But it, again, you have a longer reach. Yeah, all right. It's, we got some pneumatic tools preference. here, it looks like. Yes, we have the original LHR 75 pneumatic. This is a little beast, one of my favorites that we actually have. It does require about 11 CFMs at 90 PSI. All right. Not to get too geeky. In other words, it takes a lot of air. Yep. Then we have some exciting tools here. These are what we call our LTA 75 and 125, basically a three inch and a five inch pad, uh, 12 millimeter, uh, 15 millimeter. And what it is is an epicyclic gear, it's a triple gear. So it slows down the movement but it picks up the torque okay so, uh, wonderful tools a little more pricey but they are going to last you a very long time and lifetime on warranty now. on these or what uh, no <laughs> one year warranty on everything one year warranty on everything guys you heard it here one year warranty on everything and then we have our melee <laughs> our LK900 Ooh. and uh, this one is a very smooth gear driven tool we have it set up with the six inch pad you can also get it with a five inch pad and uh, the best thing about this, it does go clockwise. So it makes clockwise, it a real nice, little, little... smooth, yes, nice, smooth. <clears throat> I have not yet used that one, so I'm looking forward to giving that one a try here. Oh, man, it's it's very smooth. If you've ever used other gear-driven tools, you'll yep. find it's the best. Okay, all right. Then we have and here, down here we got, what is this? Okay, this is our other tool. I don't know who <laughs> this is, tool. but it's a nice tool. <laughs> What's your name? Israel. Israel, that's right, Israel. Israel. Yes. Izzy's Auto Care for you guys watching. There you go, Izzy's, Izzy's Auto Care. Right go check him out. He is on it. Izzy's Look at this guy. <laughs> I like that. Good job. There you go. Seamless plug, guys. That's right, brother. <laughs> All right, so what we got here, Paul? Uh, we got a uh, rotary, looks like. This is our rotary. This is our uh, lovely uh, 4.85 pound rotary compared to like a six and a half pound rotary, so it's two pounds lighter. All right, all right. We do a D handle. All that goes on the rotary. It's one of the choices. And I don't know if you can see it, but it has a little. Uh, yeah, steering wheel. That was an actual design by Guido, the owner of oh, Rubes. Oh, that's so cool. You can totally yes. see the little steering wheel see handle the top, there. See the top on here? Yeah. So, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> then you actually have the Rubes handle. We're just waiting to see who the first person puts it on their gear shift, but it's a fun that's, little handle. That's a, that's a great idea. So, yeah. Now someone's going to do this watching this video. That's it. That's it, man. Cool. All right, Paul. Well, I want to thank you so much for jumping uh -huh. here in the video, guys. Uh -huh. it, he's a trooper because he is like ready to pass out over here, guys. It's been a long day. It's been a mess. It's hot. So uh, we're going to continue on with the show here. So uh, let's go see what else is going on. Want to have a tripod? Do you have a tripod? No, no. no I'm, we're, not, we're not getting that fast. My tripod's right here. So my tripod. There's your, that's a bipod. The bipod. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh, one tripod. There you go. <laughs> okay, guys. All right. Are the bloopers over now? The, the, yes, the bloopers are over. Oh, so we're actually live? No, almost. Almost. Okay. Now, fun and action. Hi, CNN. <laughs> oh, this is not CNN. No, this is not CNN. Oh, oh. No, this is YouTube. This is YouTube, Jason. <laughs> Hi. Hi, YouTubes. Hi, YouTubes. Oh, my God. All right. Okay. Is this both tubes? YouTube. Both. <laughs> now you're not going to be able to speak. No. <laughs> this is going to be great blooper footage. <laughs> All right, guys. I am now joined here by Mr. Jason Rose. We just had a great little Q&A in there, a little demonstration talking about a lot of different crazy stuff with paint correction and polishing and all that stuff right there. There's a question I have that I've uh, wondered off and on and talked to people I've talked to you about. Now that is, after you polish your car out, you prep it you know, by some kind of IPA wiping down before you put a coating on there. Now, does this still apply if you're using, say, a wax or a polymer sealant? Is that something that's really necessary to be done? Yeah, so what we're dealing with here, even though it may not be a paint coating, and by the way, some of the paint coating companies, they have specific preparation liquids for their coating. And, that's, that's a and great if, point. And I would pay attention to that because they've scienced out the chemistry between their coating and what they want on the surface before the coating is applied. So I'd pay attention to that if the company recommends it. But generally speaking, on natural waxes or synthetic waxes like polymer sealants, um, it is a great idea and probably more than a great idea, it's a good performance thing to clean the paint of compound residue, polish oils, things like that, right. things that might be left behind with 
your paint correction products. Yeah. Clean that off with um, isopropyl alcohol IPA, um, which is a great. It's a great product to yeah. remove that stuff. And most so. people have IPA, you know, typically or isopropyl alcohol for yeah. you know for long, <laughs> um, and, you know, in their supplies, you know, at the house. So it's something you can just mix with some water. So you don't want to use it straight. You know, typically you want to use it 50/50. I would say, right? Right. So you kind of want to mix it 50/50. You know, it depends if you're using like a 90% isopropyl alcohol or something lower grade. Yeah. But it's something to keep in mind there. And that um, by clearing that stuff off the surface before you apply your wax and sealant. It actually prepares that surface for better bonding. Better adhesion and sticking yeah. to it. and Because yeah, anything that's left on the surface before you apply this protection stuff. It's going to be there after. The, the protection's bonding to that material, not to the paint. So you got to think about what is between my protection product and the paint, and that's what it's going to bond to. And polishing oil, let's face it, is not going to stay on a car very long. Yeah. So. Cool. Awesome. Well, Jason, I want to thank you here so much for jumping here on the video, taking some time out of your day. Um, so where where can we find your material? Yeah. Online? So so, <laughs> so it's here on YouTube, guys. You guys are watching it right now. On both YouTube. <clears throat> on both okay. YouTubes. Jason Rose <laughs> YouTube and Derek Short YouTube, or <laughs> or uh, Cruising California out of D. What you guys are watching right now. Uh, but yeah, again, Jason, thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Or tuning in and watching. <laughs> so you can't I'm even talk. Now, now, that I now, now he's gonna watch. <laughs> I got a new subscriber. Um, no, but I do. I do want to thank you for jumping here on camera and, and helping educate the viewers as well as myself on just different questions that I've had over the years and things that maybe other people have had too. So again, thank you so much. My pleasure. Cool. All right, guys, I am joined here by Jennifer Turcott and she is an amazing detailer. She's been detailing or in, I guess in the industry for what, 20 years you said? In 20 years, yes. 20 years. So I want to ask you, you being a woman in a primarily male dominated industry here, mm -hmm. some of the challenges you faced over the years and how you were able to overcome them. So I would say some of the biggest challenges that I have to go through is, um, you know, when I first started my company, I had a lot of people doubting me. They asked me, why, why would I go to you and why wouldn't I just go to so-and-so down the street? And the reason is, is you know, my, mine always started off as a boutique experience. Um, I wanted to, you know, when I first started, I kind of find, I found people that were really close to me, people that could be my cheerleaders, that could actually go out and, you know, it's like planting the seed and watching it grow. So, um, what I did is, you know, I did a few cars for people, those people would refer their friends, and then, you know, those friends um, that were paying customers, I mean, I just go above and beyond. I'll clean out the inside, I'll take everything that they have out of the inside, and I'll put it in a box, and then once, I, once I'm done, I'll take that box. Um, I'll take all their receipts, I'll, I'll staple them together, I'll put them in an envelope, I'll organize all their pens, I'll put their sunglasses in a certain spot. You know, I leave them a microfiber or a little travel kit for them to go because I just like to go above and beyond. Their car is not just another car for me, it's, you know, it's it's their baby. And so, yeah, absolutely. Um, I just knew that when I started, even though people laughed at my name, laughed at what I had going on, um, that I had a great work ethic. I love to work hard. Like, I mean, that, I guess it's kind of the same thing. Yeah, you're passionate. I'm passionate they see about, you're passionate about yeah, it. Yeah, you know, and I've been doing it for so long, and I, I do have the, the female touch, I guess. <laughs> so, and I guess I'm, I'm just very grateful for those people that did give me a chance. Yeah, yeah. awesome. So, <clears throat> I guess moral of the story here, guys, is you work hard enough. People will eventually over time will see your passion. Like I've had, I'm sure you've had experience the same, but clients that they as you talk to them they're like they know they brought their car to the yeah. right person because they're like you can see how passionate like we are about right. detail we, care. we awesome. genuinely care it's not just like hey hand me your keys yeah you know let's let's get this thing in here it's not like that exactly yeah. so <clears throat> anyways i want to thank you jennifer for jumping on camera Absolutely. here it is nice meeting you here today thank you very much yeah, you're welcome it. all right guys just found out right now this is renee right here he's the one that put this event on what what me what what <laughs> Hey, all I know, I want to thank everybody for coming out. Renee here at Detailing.com, for my staff, my family. I just want to let you guys know that we truly appreciate everybody here. We wouldn't be here for 10 years if it wasn't for you and you and everybody else around. So thanks to everybody for coming out. Detailing.com, 10 year anniversary, Car Care Expo. I hope to do this every year, maybe five years, maybe 10 years, yeah, 20 years. Keep it going. I don't keep know. It, keep it going, man. I don't know. We're going to keep doing it, but stay connected. Detailing.com, doing our best, taking you to the next level. Peace out.
Cool, and I will put a link in the description below to detailing.com, you guys, so you guys can go ahead and take a look at these guys right here. Support them, great group of people here. I had, this is my first time here at this event right here, I've heard about it. First time actually going, and boy am I glad I didn't. If you guys have missed out, you guys definitely wanna check it out next year. We'll do it soon. So if you missed out, don't worry, we'll do it again. Thank you so much, God bless. All right, guys, I am joined here by a special guest. We got Mr. Barry McGuire of McGuire's Car here. Barry, I want to thank the you so much. Guy. The old guy. The old the, guy, the, the, the true pro and professional, and this is like the, oh, it's right, where I can't even think of the words right now. I'm all like choked up talking oh, to Barry yeah, McGuire. Yeah, yeah. That, cars, that's really what cars. it is. Uh, no, but seriously, Barry, I want to thank you for, so much for just taking a few minutes out of your time to jump on camera here. I want to ask you basically, the car care has come a long way over the years from your grandfather Boy, starting it way back it when really to where yeah. it is now. What's your thoughts of coming out here, meeting all these awesome people, and continuing to do this, you know, continuing car shows and events? Well, and it's a blast. People? You know, it, it comes from a frame of reference. You know, I mean, I go back. Uh, I was at the SEMA show before. It was a SEMA show. There's about 15 exhibitors. <laughs> That's right. I remember you talking about Disneyland that earlier. Hotel That's and crazy. A portion of their ballroom and to go through all that and of course detail there was no detailing i mean i'm, <laughs> I'm selling people who are doing personal cars but there's no name for us right yeah you're and i wanted to create i saw this was a big opportunity i need to get more people to start looking at doing this and doing it right instead of just the, the automatic stuff but just to really get in there and love the cars you know yes and yes so we kept playing around with different terms and i didn't I didn't create the term detailing, but it was one of a lot of names. Yes. And detailing and working on the details and making a car just right, I liked it. Yeah. And so I just took off with it. And I just started, and I had the platform for doing it because we were yep. so established. <clears throat> Absolutely. And so we just started pushing detailing everywhere. What's detailing and detailers and loving on detailers and working to create the term. And so now when we're here at detailing.com, I mean, you can imagine my um, excitement. Yeah, and I was with these guys ten years ago when they first did this, yep. and um, I, I love it. You know, uh, you think we're all competitors, so we're going to be at each other, and it's not that at all. It's it's a family, Very and uh, I like to go to the companies that are just starting, and I like to go to say, you know, I was where you were one time, <laughs> yep. and it was just me and my wife. Yeah, and we just worked hard. If you stay with, it, if you honor God, follow His lead. <laughs> Yep. and do things right and honestly treat people well and try to do your very best that there's a place for you there and everybody here is doing a good job and we just look at it it's just, we're all growing the hobby and and the and the professional uh, detailing industry so well together here detail.com they're just amazing they, they do such a great job of representing each one of us really really very well and, and so professionally so uh anyway we've had a blast here today and um uh, there's nowhere else on earth I'd rather be than, than right here. Yeah. Well, again, Mr. Barry McQuire, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Here, or jumping on here, guys. Um, Barry, it's been a pleasure. I mean, I, you mentioned earlier here when you were um, talking on stage about passion and having that passion for detail. And we all, obviously... Have you noticed? <laughs> he's, this guy's got passion. <laughs> yes. Actually, it's funny because I actually met Mary, Barry McGuire here years ago at Shadow Mountain Church. There was a car show out there that we were doing. That's right. He saw my Viper ACR. That's I was right. showing it to him, that. and he oh saw that car. He's like, right doing it. Who, I want to know who owns this car. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And that was like the biggest compliment. Barry McGuire himself looking at my car saying, that's a nice shine on a car. So, well, and I told you my favorite scripture when I got out of college. Yep. Uh, I went to uh, what's now Point Loma Nazarene, but it was in Pasadena. But I came up with this Proverbs 3 5, you know. Okay. Trust the Lord with your whole heart and don't depend on your own understanding. For me, that was easy. I just said, I don't have a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> I need your help. And yes. He started doing it immediately. And now, after all these years, you know, 60 years of it, it's just amazing how he's done that. And he's never let me down. Yep, that's, and that's if very we true. Honor him, we That's honor him and the world is trying to tear us down and distract us and cut corners and, and try to get the almighty buck and whatever and your business can be your God. And I did that for a little while. I, I worked so hard, I forgot about God. I just focusing on my business. Yeah. And I became my God and I, that was I was so dry. And I realized, wait, well, I just got to get back to you, God, and just love you and honor you. and. And make my best business secondary. And yeah, that's I, true. Because you get you get complacent over time when you focus on something so well, much, you forget on you yeah. Know, over you, the years, you, over, you, you learn through things. those things. And I yes. had a guy come to my office one day. He says, "You know, your business is your pulpit." Yes. And I thought it is. It gives me the opportunity to tell people how wonderful God is in the real world, not in a, an ecclesiastical world. I'm just a car guy. We're just <laughs> hanging out, having fun. And he's there every moment, even in the bad stuff that we think's bad at the time, but he turns it around and makes it good. So it's. It's kind of fun and, and um, so 
we've had a great time here today, and, and you're amazing. I'm so thankful yeah. to meet you uh, again, <laughs> yep. renew our friendship, and hang out with you today. Of course, and, and, uh, but definitely, I'm sure we'll be doing more of this in the future here, oh, yeah. more oh, get-togethers yeah. oh, and yeah, stuff yeah. like we'll, that. We'll have so. more fun, more memories to have. Cool, awesome. Well, thank you again, Mr. Thank Barry you. McGuire. I really appreciate it, and thank, thank you, you guys thank you. for watching. We're going to sign off here, so guys, thank you guys again so much for tuning in and watching, and um, we will talk to you guys later. And God bless. <laughs> You, okay. you know this guy over my shoulder here? What's Yo, up? Johan? <laughs> yeah. Johan. Well, how about this guy right here? We got, we got Jason Rose right here. Oh, yeah, look Johan, at this. We got the whole gang. Johan, I, I do remember gang. you. Yeah, Johan. yeah. Johan and Mike Stoops, too. He's in the house, man. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Good, how are you? Thanks for coming out, man. Enjoy so. that. Wow, gee, golly whiz. Um, yeah, I'm having a blast. I mean, it's purely selfish for me to be here. And... Uh, I, I'm enjoying it more than anybody else, I think. Um, you know, I go back a few years. In fact, detailing came along probably 20 years after I was selling people who were buffing on cars. And so it's a relatively new term for me in my life. And to see the detailing field uh, develop as it has, and it's just so incredibly wonderful. And, and what a community, isn't it? I mean, uh, I always talk about car guys being the best people on the planet and they're guys and gals both and you're obsessed with cars and uh, with few exceptions most detailers are obsessed with cars they're, you just love cars and so when you detail the cars you're not just polishing them you're loving them you know and uh, these guys were rock stars when they first started I came out to their first event and have watched them grow over the years they've done it right uh, they have all the right information they have the best, best brands um, I think I've been to every one of our competitors here today and hugging on them and uh, and I can honestly say that There's no one company that can pull this off as far as a, as a supplier is concerned It's all of us working together and each one of us has our own little angle that we talk about and and it complements the other and together we're all raising you know the, the industry and that's happening on this property today. We all I don't know any other industry where you go, you have competitors together loving on each other. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's quite an amazing phenomenon that goes on today that you have people that are, we're competing with each other all the time, but we're just great friends and we're encouraging each other and sharing. And, and I like to brag on some of them who used to work for us and now they're working for somebody else, but they're still rock stars. And uh, so I didn't know I was going to say anything today, but just congratulations. Uh, you are, you're just absolutely amazing what you've done here. You've worked so hard. This doesn't happen by accident. Uh, it is your passion. It's all about passion. If you don't have passion for what you're doing, then forget about it. Uh, all of us have passion. We're working on cars and making them the best we can possibly look on. It's been our our driving force. My grandfather, back in 1901, he said, I'm just going to make that finish. He started working on black lacquer furniture. He started with furniture polish in 1901, okay? And he was obsessed with creating a perfect finish on black lacquer furniture. But he happened to be in Evansville, Indiana, and over half of all the horses carriage manufacturers in the country were in Indiana. And they all started taking, not all of them, but a lot of them started taking his furniture polish and putting it because the, the horses' carriages were all painted with the same black lacquer. And without his permission, his furniture polish became a carriage polish. And then he moved out to Pasadena, California in 1913, having no idea what would happen 30 years later at the end of World War II when the car hobby took off, and he was right in the middle of it. So we. The car hobby has happened really in my lifetime. It happened when I was a young guy. I've watched it from just a few of us to where it is now, where SEMA show is about to come up. I was at the first SEMA show where there's about 15 exhibitors. Iski was there, and I know, uh, just, just, just a few of us with 10-foot tables. That's all we had. A couple more now. And uh, it's grown a little bit since those days, and uh, it's been a great ride. But I've never enjoyed myself more than today. I mean, this is just a blast. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for bringing us all together, celebrating this hobby, and helping us all doing it better than we can ever imagine. God bless you.